you know, the humanities is a lifelong journey beyond, yes, it makes you more marketable. Yes, companies want students that know how to interact and integrate with other people and adapt and flexible and all those things. And that's fantastic. But the humanities and examining these, these ideas and these great thinkers is a tremendous value and, and certainly informs me when I'm interacting with, with patients. I immensely enjoyed my studies in the humanities and studying the liberal arts allows the fruition of the complete human nature. And that's a beautiful, beautiful vision, beautiful metaphor. I can't say that I, I often remember pulling out my calculus book and going through differential equations for fun, but I do pull down my history books. I do pull down review witnessed by Whitaker Chambers and to try to remember what happened in the earlier 20th century. So let's not forget those advantages of, of studying the humanities. As the scientific aspect of medicines progressed in the 20th century, we became extremely enamored with all of the wonderful advances in technology and we embraced those. But in embracing the technology and the science so so strongly, we lost our grip with the, the human aspect of medicine. So then you might say, what do the humanities have to do with, with all this? And I would say, everything. The examination of what tethers us together, the, the examination of what binds us one another now and across centuries are key things that will help us learn how to connect one human to the next. That the consciousness, the great books speak conscious to conscious across the centuries. And we can remember that when there's so many suffering that maybe dressing them as a, another human with dignity is of immense, immense value.